Hey, let's take a few minutes and talk about authenticity. I want you to love you for who you are, not for who other people want you to be. I want you to love your kids for who they are, not for who you want them to be. Think about this. If, now I don't know your background, of course, but growing up, would your life have been different? How you feel about yourself, your career, if your family had allowed you to be who you are, not who they wanted you to be. I treat, a, I shouldn't say treat, I work with a lot of families. And so often I see parents programming, it's, go, it's beyond molding, it's programming their child to be who they want them to be. My child is going to grow up and go to this college and they're going to have this profession. That's cute when they're, when they're babies. You know, that they're gonna follow in mommy's footsteps or daddy's footsteps or, you know, Uncle Billy Bob or whoever. That's, that's fine to say those things. But respect your child for who they are. As they grow older, they may not like those things. They may have absolutely no interest. Their talents lie elsewhere. That's okay, respect that. Allow your child to be who they are. Of course, you know, raise them with good morals and values to be respectful and kind and compassionate and understanding, accepting other people for who they are, not necessarily who they want them to be. Allow your child, I cannot stress this enough in today's society, allow your child to have friends of other cultures of other lifestyles. It's okay. I cannot tell you how many times I come across families, well, we don't associate with these people. We don't like them. Because they're this religion, they're that religion, they're this culture, that culture, they talk funny, they dress funny. So your kid's in elementary school and somebody's having a birthday party and everybody's going and everybody's so excited and you tell your child, I don't think so because we don't, we don't get you know, we don't associate with them. Seriously? I honestly hear this. No. If you have concerns, go with your child to the party. Let them go. Absolutely. And when you get there, tell the parent, do you mind if I stick around? You might need some help. My child has talked about this, has talked about your child for weeks. I had to come and meet everybody. This is so exciting. I want to meet the other parents. Include yourself. Hate is based on ignorance. And I'm not calling you stupid. I'm just saying you don't have the facts. You don't have the first-hand knowledge of other cultures. Learn it. Expose yourself. Expose your child to other cultures. Because I promise you, at some point in their life, they are going to be exposed to other cultures, to other lifestyles. Give them the tools to know how to handle the situations with compassion and understanding, with empathy, with courtesy and respect. Just because someone does not believe what you believe, that's okay. It doesn't mean they're wrong, they're just different. And that's okay, that's fine. That's not a problem, unless you make it a problem. Don't make it a problem. If your child has friends that are gay, transgender, that's okay. If your child has friends that are of a different religion, that's okay. It doesn't mean they're going to change religions. It doesn't mean your child is going to suddenly be gay. It just means they have a buddy that thinks differently, that feels differently, that is different. That's okay. If your child has a friend who has different physical challenges, you know, they, maybe they're in a wheelchair, maybe they're an amputee, whatever. Maybe they're autistic. Maybe they're blind. Maybe they stutter. That's okay. It's great for kids to have friends, for somebody to accept your child for who they are and in turn your child accept them for who they are. That's beautiful. That is amazing. Your child is going to grow up and accept people for who they are. That's great. That's what we want. It doesn't mean your child is going to copy their behaviors, their attitudes. It's okay. Allow your child to be who they are, not necessarily who you want them to be guide them, mold them, if they're going down the bad path. You know, kids can get into some trouble and can kind of stray, bring them back in. 
gently. Say, look, you know where this is headed. You see that this person is doing da 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 and getting in trouble all the time. We don't want that for you. That's normal. That's okay. But saying, we don't want you associating with them because, you know, their skin's a different color. They speak funny. They dress funny. They're a different religion. They have two moms. They have two dads. Come on. You're better than that. Allow your child to be who they are. I also see a lot of adults, college kids and adults, who have addictions. And we start talking about why they have addictions. Many times it's because their family did not accept them for who they are. And that hurts them. They feel they're a failure. They feel they're a disappointment. They may be in a career they hate because they're trying to people please. They're trying to please mom and dad to earn their love, to earn their respect. Honey, you should never have to earn anyone's love. I don't think so. Love is given. It is a gift. You don't earn it. Respect. If you are a good soul and you're polite and kind and empathetic and compassionate and you lift people up, you help others in need, that should get anybody's respect. You know, it, it would get mine. In, in my world, when my son was growing up, the only thing that mattered was the color of someone's heart if they're a good soul. My son had friends of all different religions, all different cultures, and that was fine. That was great. He is, a, a, I'm biased, of course, you know, I'm a mom, but he's a brilliant, wonderful, well-rounded person, and he's raising his child to be a brilliant, well-rounded person. I love that. I have friends to this day that are, some of my best friends are different religions, different cultures, great, different lifestyles. I don't care, they're a good person, they're my friend. That's okay. It's nothing to be threatened about. So, if you have issues, look at yourself. If you're dealing with addictions, ask yourself why. Is it because you're covering something up, you're not allowed to be who you are? A lot of people put on this act every day. They get up and instead of choosing to be happy, they put on a mask. This is who people expect me to be. Well, that's just bullshit. I'm sorry. Be who you are. Feel whatever you feel. It's okay. I have written nine books. I had to stop and think. Three for adults, six for kids. Telling people it's okay to feel whatever you feel. It's okay. It's okay. If your family isn't accepting you for who you are, find out why. Why does this bother you? Why is it so important for you, to you, for me to go into this profession? Maybe they just want you to do well for yourself. Okay. Totally understandable. You want your child to do well. But maybe you don't, maybe they want you to be an accountant or a doctor and you want to be a plumber. Great. You can still do well going down that path. Maybe they want you to go to a specific college. You want to go to a trade school. You don't want to do that at all. You want to work with your hands. That is a gift that you have been given. Go for it. Talk to them. Keep the lines of communication open. Talk to them. Sit down. Talk openly, honestly, respectfully. No raised voices, no name calling, no storming out of the room. But have a conversation and tell them, I want you to love me for who I am, not for who you want me to be. I want you to love yourself for who you are, not for who other people want you to be. Ask yourself, who am I? What's keeping me from being my authentic self? I don't want you putting on that mask every day. I don't want you having to reach for drugs, for alcohol, online porn. Sex addictions are big. Gambling, shopping addictions. What's it covering up? That's the question. What's keeping you from being your authentic self? Because you're worthy of that. You are worthy of being you and having everybody around you love you for you. Not who they want you to be, but for who you are. We have all been there. We have all felt like we've disappointed someone. Honey, 
the only time you fail, the only time you disappoint somebody is when you fail or disappoint yourself. Trust me. I want you happy. I want you healthy. I want you smiling ear to ear every day. If I can help, I'm here. There are a lot of people in this world that can help you. If you're struggling with authenticity, find somebody to talk to. Okay? Because you are worthy of happiness and feeling safe in your own world. Walking around with a mask, you're not feeling safe unless you have that mask on, unless you're holding up that sign with a mask. I don't want that for you. Be authentic. You be you. Okay.